On the edge of a far, far northern European region of Scandinavia lay a small yet happy village of Alderness. We called the occupants that once lived there Vikings. They were farmers and fishermen, which was the explanation for their excellent sailing and boat building skills. But one day at noon, the sky unexpectedly clouded over. There was a flock of dragons circling around the village. Dragons landed next to the houses, scaring the children. The village people tried to scare the creatures away by swishing axes around at them. But the dragons got frustrated and roared and scared the people away. The leader of the dragons started to speak. We will let you live if you will give us twenty cows, ten goats, fifty chicken and a hundred fish a day. Vikings worked and hunted hard. Even so, after ten days, there weren't any cows, goats or chickens left in the farms or nearby. Even fish knew not to swim within fifty miles of the village. The Vikings were hopeless. They had nothing to feed on, not even vegetables. The dragons used them for their beds. They knew this was their end. One evening, the people sat around the fire. They were to figure out how they could save themselves. The eldest woman began to smile. They looked at her with confusion, then hope. She began to speak. I know I shouldn't be smiling in a situation this catastrophic, but I just remembered a story that my granddad told me when I was little about a magic tree. I always believed it was a made-up story, but he always said it with such truth in his eyes that he made me believe every single word. Anyway, oh yes, I remember now. It began with a similar disaster to ours, and Granddad told me that they went to the magic tree for help. I can't remember the rest, but I remember the location he described to me. In the old times, people used to say that if they were in a difficult situation, they went to ask the advice of this magic tree. This magic tree was said to be on the ground, but above the air and sea. No one could even figure it out after the area was overgrown. Vikings sent the strongest boy called Eight to find the tree and ask for advice. It was not easy to reach that tree. He had to climb to the top of the highest mountain under a full moon. The magic tree grew on a small place, directly over the ocean. Eight stood on the platform. At that moment, the moon shone its rays directly over the tree. Ake asked, "Magic tree, can you help our people? There is a flock of dragons that has eaten all of our food. We have no more food to offer to them. Now it is getting ready to eat our people." The magic tree shook gently. A map started to emerge on the surface of the ocean. The map showed an island. Eik ran down to deliver the news. The villagers boarded on the ships. The men and warriors boarded the first ship, so that they could fight off any people there at the island. The women and children were in the following ships. They crossed the ocean. When the warriors arrived in Scotland, they were surprised. There were no people to fight off. They found a monastery with some treasure in it. The Vikings were ready to loot the treasure. Suddenly, peaceful monks came out of nowhere. They asked them why they were looting the treasures. The monks listened to their story and offered them help. The Vikings were allowed to live on their land, but under the conditions that they never used the weapons against other people. The Vikings hid all of their weapons in a cave, as there was no use for them any more. They went to build their new village, and when they finished, it was an even better village than the old one. And they were farmers and fishermen once again.